How we doing? So far, just having a bunch of chillers seems to be the way, as far as, like, just a strong defensive line without having to think about too much. Of course, if I see something saying, like, I'm getting attacked from the north, then I might want to add some more guns. Okay. Boy, even with the double research, that is still very slow. Building. Actually, where? Oh, oh, that's what happened. We're maxed on power. I was wondering about that. Well, that's fine. Good to figure out what I was doing wrong. I was like, why aren't we building anymore? And the answer is, nope. Everything, everything is perfectly normal. Wait. Uh, oh. Well, that's nice. So, unfortunately, it looks like we've hit the maximum amount of income, gold income, that we can get over the course of the game. But maybe that's not a big deal. Yeah, it's really fast. Because, yeah, it's not like a whole lot of things really are going to get much more expensive than it currently is. There we go. Now we got... Now we've got the power. There we go. Okay, so I want to just kind of expand a lot of this stuff out. There we go. And we got to make the money. Two, three. Perfect. Uh, is that... There we go. I'm not actually sure if these are the best. Let's see. Yeah, not sure if these are the best way of laying, laying everything out. But frankly, it doesn't really matter too much. Two, and then just there. Okay, and then we're going to have to switch all of these over to mining. There's a configure section, which is really interesting. I'm curious how configuring resource drones is going to work. Okay, place that. How you guys doing? There we go. Oh, haven't even finished those. But more money. There we go. The financial annex is working. And it looks like they don't fly too far out of range. Previously, I was kind of under the impression that uh, they would just fly to any old research or resource node in the entire game. But no, it, it looks like they've they've got a limited range. Zoom. Wait, what? It said only 269, and then the actual cost was, like, way higher than that. I wonder if there's diminishing returns that I'm dealing with. I got a something. I got a whatever that defense is. Okay, resource drone, resource 
Re resource drone. There we go. Are you all? I think they're all set for resource. At least it looks like they're being serviced. Okay. So all the freezers and then chaos? Uh, let me disintegrate her. What does this do? Costs a buttload of money. Pulsar's older sibling fires piercing shots that break apart as it travels. Oh. I would like to order a bunch of these, thank you. Do I have the power for that? Mm. Well, this is gonna kick me up heat-wise like crazy. Eh, here's what it is. Okay, defenses. I'll put a minigun on. I think both of these corners. Yeah, this will be fun. It'll be worth it, though. Yeah, well, all, all that ex extra money really does speed things along very nicely. Grab toxic bullets. Oh, additional research resource targets per visit. Sweet. Okay, so now we're getting the miniguns. Mostly, I think we're just waiting for sufficient power so I can buy the big guns. So my biggest worry is the north. The north is not necessarily particularly well defended. It's also very broad si side of the barn currently. I guess I'm just going to get a bunch of miniguns up. They're worth it. There we go. So now anything that gets close gets hosed. We've got the... We've got the chillers as kind of like a... Backup. Let's see. Yeah, Chillers is kind of just like a baseline, and then the minigun's just a really spray if something gets close that I don't want to deal with. Uh, let's see, what do we invest in next? Increased defense? Yeah, let's go for increased defense. Here's the other thing. Logistics, essence storage. At some point, we're going to be burning this stuff. But for now, I should probably just give myself enough space. Let's see, so I can grab it all. There we go. All right, essence collectors. Yeah, let's just get a bunch of these down. Okay, resource drone, resource drone. Yeah, let's uh, let's start collecting essence and mass. 
There we go. Boy, my money issues. They are non-stop, but that's okay. What else do we do? What else can we do? We've got miniguns aplenty. We've got that. I say... Do I have another fusion generator? I do have another fusion generator queued. I think I'm just gonna sit back, relax, let the last of these things... Uh, stock up. And then we deal with the next boss. You know, interestingly enough, I think I was generally more threatened in the, uh, in the red? Yeah, that hasn't been built yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, that, that ain't it. I got a lot of bad boys kind of rolling this direction. Oh, did we build it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. So it's effectively a... It hits the whole map. What's its, what's its normal range? Not nearly that cool. I might build another one there. So, the thing is, it's got enough range that it truly can hit the whole map. So, if I put it in the spots that get attacked most often, it should just shred everything along the way. Okay. I'm also noticing more enemies are starting to spawn kind of here. So, we should probably up our defenses. There we go. Okay. I said I'm kind of more threatened. But I think these guys being able to... Ooh. All bullets get an additional piercing shot. That's actually really good. I think these guys are starting to get to the point where they could threaten me at least. Wow. Oh. I know why. We're already near cap on essence storage. That's fine. All right, increase range. I think I'll be okay. Just kick back, relax, and wait for the guns to get, uh, you know, built. I should probably expand out further, but we're starting to hit our heat cap and also our power cap. And I don't feel like my walls are that well defended yet. We'll see. Let's see. I also have the flamethrower. When everything gets real dicey. Main issue with the flamethrower is heat, but maybe that's not that big of a deal. Okay, minigun was definitely the right call in that corner. There we go. And that could use... That could use a minigun. There we go. Okay. Guns are pretty good. I'm probably going to need more miniguns. Oops. Along this side. Kraken. Kraken will spawn at 25,000 heat. 
Must be defeated in order to increase maximum heat capacity. If you aren't ready, consider placing down some airy coolers. Okay, and it's coming from the south. Frankly, I'm just going to build those two. I'm a little worried as if it specifically hits this section. Because I don't actually have any miniguns there. There we go. Now we got the miniguns. So now it has to go through kind of a U-shaped bullet herd into my southern wall. And hopefully the entire way that it goes, it just gets uh, shredded on the way up. Looks like money is in short supply. I'll have to keep this corner in mind. Let's see. Do I do anything else special? No, I think we just wait. We got a lot of things that we're building, and I'm sure the boss is going to show up. And I'll be ready for him. Or not. Like, frankly, if I get killed, it does me a favor. Because I really want to go get a... I don't know if I want a burrito or if I want a sham, uh, sham hamwich. Because I had a burrito for breakfast. So, like, another burrito seems like it would be a m mistake. Whereas my sham hamwiches are pretty dang good but they keep longer. Hojin on research. Any extra bullet piercing wouldn't be a bad move. Do a breakfast burrito for dinner to change it up. Ooh. I could. Yeah, because one of my big things is I gotta get rid of... I, I've got a silly amount of tortillas that I need, need to get rid of. And so I, I could do breakfast burritos. My main thing is I just don't want to cook too much. Now, uh, so for for reference, a sham hamwich is a uh, it's a ham sandwich but uh, with tofurkey instead of ham, uh, and it's like a cashew cheese alternative instead of cheese. Tastes damn good, like actually as good as like a regular ham sandwich, if not better. But it's totally fake, but you'd never know. Homemade nachos, I've only got like a handful of chips left. I'm kind of probably going to just eat them as a snack. Nachos are kind of one of those where I don't actually... I don't like making nachos. Too cheesy. thought it was ham surrounding one piece of bread. No. Though that also would be a sham ham. Well, no, no. That wouldn't be a sham, though. That would be... A, that's just a hamwich. Try the tortillas. Oh, gosh. The... Y'all are suggesting, like, unhealthier options here, and, like, here I am trying to lose weight. There's the Kraken. Eat big!
almost kind of wish there was a way for me to just turn off the UI. Here's the thing. I'm, I think I'm shooting it. Yeah, I'm actually going... I'm doing a decent amount of damage because we're hitting all the trash mobs that keep spawning in front of it. Unfortunately, there's only so many of them, but still. Let's see, may need more guns. I doubt it. If we've already managed to do a ton of damage... Well, a ton. If we've already managed to chip it a little bit just by plinking the little guys in front of it, I think we might be okay. Well, now's a good time to actually burn all of these and then re replace them. We're gonna hit our heat cap, but you know we're we're already doing like an okay amount of damage to it, just at a far distance. Oh, I see. Cut tortillas with scissors. Bake an oven for homemade chips. A little drizzle, drizzle of water or oils if you want. You get crispier or softer. Huh. Yeah, I've never actually tried making my own tortilla chips. I can consider it. I might want to go, like, full full scratch at that case, though. I don't know. I, I'm i really hoping whatever house we move into next has, like, a, a nice... Uh, like a kitchen with one of those like really nice islands. Uh, let's see. Would it? Yeah, I could. I could have a flamethrower on this side here. Same thing with the mini guns. I think it's gonna pass my outpost. But it will give me such a perfect opportunity to just shell it as it goes by. Let's see. Wonder you're not staying in the Pacific Northwest. I don't know. The one thing I will say is, uh, at the very least, my lease ends uh, at the end of March of next year, which, like, seems like a long time away, or, you know, it, it seems like it's going to be a while before before that comes, but one, time flies, two, uh, it takes a while to find a good house to rent and live in, and so I've been kind of in this limbo state, trying to figure out where to go, but, uh, Yeah, it's starting to worry. Not, I'm not stressing yet. I'm not stressing too much yet. I think we hit our power cap. Okay, I'm starting to worry a bit. It's okay. If it crushes me, it crushes me. Okay, it's starting to melt. Yeah, it's it's going to do some damage, but it's not it's not going to It might not even touch the mines. 
Got it. Okay, we've destroyed the Kraken, increasing my max heat to 50,000, unlocking the next tier of the game. Phantom enemies are now active. Well, that was a cool, like, swirly, spirally thing. I definitely could have had some more defenses up in there. But I think I'm... I think it went okay. And part of it is I just never really modernized this section particularly well. Ooh, Tesla. Okay. Pretty sure up here could use it. And like here. I think we're gonna want to get another disintegrator. Okay. Unfortunately, everything's really expensive, so it's gonna take a while to get, like, any of this stuff. Ah, uh, is what it is. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I don't- I don't actually know where I'm going to live next. Obviously, I wanna- I want a nicer house that handles heat better, because currently my house gets really toasty in the evenings. It actually didn't get too bad today. Uh, but it was- it was 90 out, and usually 90 is, like, hot. Uh in where I am, and that sucks, and I don't like it. And so, wherever I want to move to, I want to make sure my office is on the eastern side of the house, because I'm rarely in it in the mornings, and even then, uh, it doesn't, you know, it's not as hot out in the mornings, so it doesn't matter. Um, but having my, having my office on the western side more or less just means I'm just getting cooked every single evening. And, uh, that just... I'm tired. I'm tired of being, like, overheating while I'm working. It just doesn't feel good to me. Alright. Let's get some radiators. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just need ten. And then we can rip them up. I just want to get a ripper. Oh, no, it's twenty. Okay, defenses. Ripper. Barrage of long range, high velocity projectiles. Ooh. Exciting. And artillery. Massive artillery shells that do ha huge splash damage on impacts. here that I can get rid of you and artillery oh my god the range on this thing is also huge so it at least makes sense There we go. How much does this cost? Only 100,000 for an artillery. Costs a lot of heat, though. Ripper is a lot of... Yeah, it's similar heat. Not that much on power. Well, that's okay. Have you tried blackout curtains? Can't. Landlord won't let me. That's the, the other reason why I want to move, is my landlord said, we cannot put up any kind of, like, big curtains inside the house. Don't ask me why. Like, it's... It's a stupid policy, and I hate it, but I mean, what am I going to do about it? Move? That's my plan. I'm kind of waffling on the idea of potentially buying a house at some point. The main problem is just, like, i got to figure out where I want to live. Because I like the Pacific Northwest. It's a nice area, and the culture around here is quite nice. But I don't like uh, the idea that their fall is being replaced by fire season. Like, that's really spooky if four small blackouts uh per window now like the hoa would give a shit 
And once the heat's actually inside the house, it's not really that useful anyway. It just kind of radiates in through the blackout curtain. Kind of. Kind of. <sighs> it's a ridiculous landlord. I think it's partly the HOA. The HOA does not want, uh, like, big curtains or anything like that. It makes the neighborhood look bad. I don't know. But one way or another, I want to... Next place I want to move to, I want to have, like, a giant kitchen. So that I can, um... So I could almost, like, do cooking shows. I'm not a cook. I'm not very good at it. I make, like, fine enough food for me, but nothing I'd really, like, brag about. It'd be kind of fun to actually record, like, a weekly, like, hey, I'm gonna cook a thing. HOAs are basically tyrants. I'm mixed. HOAs can be really useful. Uh, if you have, like, a neighbor that's misbehaving in a really bad way, or, uh, for example... Uh, two things that my HOA does that's really nice is uh, Oregon has a problem with people that live in campers that just kind of come to Oregon and uh, I'm not going to say stink things up, but they will they will specifically like park their giant mobile home outside of our house and just leave it there. Wow, those artillery shots are huge. And maybe not the most productive against the little guys. Uh, let's see. But, so at the start of the pandemic, there were a bunch of people that all of a sudden moved into the neighborhood that didn't live here, but they just parked their mobile homes, like, in the area. And uh, it got really problematic really fast because... These are just gross people that would just leave their trash everywhere. Um, and so our HOA was really quick about shutting that shit down. Uh, you know, maybe it took about like two weeks. And then eventually it was just like cops, not every day, but uh, cops rolling in and a couple of them even got towed. And it was nice because that shit should not fly. I realize, like, these people need to have somewhere to go, and I sympathize with that, but at the same time, residential neighborhoods are not, not the place for it. Let's see. What was the other one? Oh, right! Same thing with junker cars. We, uh... We think somebody was, uh was buying cars and like just storing them here but we had like you know a good four or five cars that clearly were non-functional that were just like left on my street specifically much like the campers the main reason why people like to use my street is because there's no house on the opposite side from my house and so uh, somebody that wants to leave a vehicle there they're not putting it in front of somebody's house it's just green space and so you can kind of you can kind of not pretend but you you can kind of uh, squeak by and hope nobody will notice. And generally, they might not, actually. Uh, but seeing some cars that, like, very clearly had just been smushed and then just left there was like, eh. I don't actually know if they're worth it overall, but I've had enough problems that having the safety net of an HOA uh, is at least an attractive prospect. Um, not exactly an HOA thing, but when I was in, uh, Kansas, uh, we had a couple of neighbors that just absolutely sucked. And we tried calling the cops on them, and the cops were just like, eh, whatever. Uh, but the apartment complex actually could sit down and say, like, hey, no. Uh, so specifically we had one guy that would play music at, like, wildly late at night, and the cops you know, gave them a warning three times and then eventually just stopped responding. So it was just like, all right, cops are useless. Uh, they don't care about these noise complaints. Um, but the apartment complex kind of responded to it and was just like, oh yeah, that's a serious problem. Let's get right on it. And so just like, you could tell in like one day, uh, whatever the threats had been made, you could tell that these bad neighbors suddenly were just like, oh, oh shit, we're gonna get evicted. I guess if we keep doing this. And they cleaned up. 
And then they almost died, and then they really cleaned up, which changes it a bit. Okay, well, I would say we've hit the end of our time with this game. Obviously, I keep going down the research tree, and I think I'm not that interested. I like the idea of, of this research tree. I want to see some more interesting, unique tech that pops up here and there. Things that I really want to pursue. Because currently it's just numerical upgrades, which are good. Uh, but you... Oftentimes when I find tech trees like this, uh, you could actually just get rid of the entire tech tree and just level the whole game out. And it ultimately ends up just being about the same. Uh, and so I'd like to see some really unique and like neat tech that you really want to go down the path towards. Huh. <sighs> Let's see, almost died what? Uh, drug overdose. Nothing Nothing particularly exciting, but uh, let me tell you, the screaming woke us up. Because effectively, uh, the guy was in the shower and he was blue. And, like, I, I'm being very cavalier about this. It's been quite some time, but the guy had probably taken far too many drugs and then... Passed out in the shower. Ambulance was called. He was in the hospital for, I'm going to say, like a month or two. And then after that, they were far more subdued. Uh, and they didn't look very ha happy or healthy afterwards. It's a weird thing to talk about more or less right at the end of a, a mini series, But here we are. Anyway, uh, I think this is going to be the end of Victorio uh, for now. I'll come back to this for episode, episode update like three maybe i might wait a little bit we'll see but then again the changes were pretty drastic for this one and you know three hours for a new update little mi micro series it feels good so i'll probably be back for updates three and four as well but for now i will see you all next time as always thanks for watching